Can you believe there's actually a lower rated quarterback than Nathan Peterman? Jake Rudock here comes in at a 45 overall and is the worst quarterback in all of Madden. I mean, look at these disgusting ratings. But today's career completely changes as I do everything in my power to win Jacob an MVP. First problem is that we have to find him a team. So of course, whatever team this magical wheel lands on, we'll be getting them an absolute specimen of a QB1. Just please don't be a stinker. We gotta win league MVP. There's no shot. There's no shot. The Cowboys. I mean, what are the freaking odds? Now today we're playing each of Jake's first four games and each game will have a specific set of challenges which if successfully completed grants a wheel spin of upgrades which hopefully can help transform Jake into a better quarterback because if he doesn't finish the season as the NFL's MVP, I have to give away the real MVP's jersey to a random lucky subscriber in the comments. I already spent too much money on Super Bowl tickets. I can't be giving myself even more of a financial burden. Week one against the Buccaneers, we have to score a net of five touchdowns. We have to score on a QB sneak and complete a touchdown pass to our lowest overall receiver. Keep in mind, I have to complete all three challenges to get our upgrade wheel spin. And even if we fail just one, Jake remains a 45 overall for another week. Jacob's a 45 overall, man. Like, we have a wide open receiver. Can you make the throw? On a freaking dime, Jacob! What a play number one! Gotta make sure I complete all the challenges, though, man. We gotta upgrade Jacob because we cannot win MVP at a 45 overall. Make sure we don't do anything stupid. You know what? That's better than like fumble sticks or a pick, so I'll take a sack. For the challenge's sake, it's so important that I do not throw interceptions. Like, to me, this five-yard gain is gold. How am I supposed to score five touchdowns with the worst quarterback in all of Madden? Thank the Lord! Thank the Lord that wasn't an interception, and better yet, it got caught for a first! Same play twice in a row, that's what they taught me to do at the Madden Academy. Um, oh gosh, bad guys, I just took another huge sack, I suck! Come on, somebody get open deep. I mean, CD Lamb's kinda open. That's a dime, that's a dime! CD Lamb, the 20, the 10, the 5, touchdown, just like that, let's go! Where on God's earth did that come from? An absolute laser from the worst quarterback in the NFL! I told you guys, Jacob's here to completely turn his career around. Last play of the first quarter, just sitting everybody deep, man. Dalton Schultz before the pressure gets there, and that almost intercepted. That would have brought our total back down to zero. Please fit this in, fit this in. Go and make the catch. Don't drop the ball. He dropped the freaking ball. Like, how stupid would it be to go for this? Completing the challenge, I think, is more important than winning the game. What can I say, man? I just want that freaking wheel spin. I mean, maybe. Just maybe. Oh my god, I thought he overthrew him! I thought he overthrew him, but let's go! Jake Rudolph, what a throw! Oh, Dalton getting frisky. Kind of really liking Pollard out of the backfield here. Oh my god. Oh my god! What a dime from Jacob! Is it time to see who our lowest overall receiver is? Helko, a 68 rated. If we're dealing with a 45 rated Jacob, we can deal with a 68 rated Fahoko. Hopefully, anyway. He's gonna be open. We need a good throw. We get the good throw. Let's go! That's a touchdown pass to our lowest rated receiver. Bro, that was too easy. Maybe the Jake Rudolph story will end up a slightly altered version of Tom Brady's. I'd rather our defense give up one play touchdowns and let them chew the clock. So what happened on the last play is not worth discussing. Let's just get this bread here. We need somebody to get open, bro. We need miracles. T.Y. T.Y. Oh my God, that's poetry. Oh, it's a fourth. Please get it on the ground. Thank you, Tony. Somebody ran around they shouldn't have, but Dalton is so open. He's so open. Dalton with the grab down at the 14. Should I just make sure I go ahead and score? Or should I try and get the QB sneak? What's the smart thing to do here? Let's just go to the open receiver for now. Get down at about the six. I mean, Jacob has almost 300 yards passing one and a half. He might win the MVP after one game. CD, he's in the end zone. He got in there. You know what? We'll take it. Our third touchdown of the half. At least before the half, we're now on pace to complete that challenge. Still have to find a way to score on a QB sneak, though. No shot, right? No shot. Yes, a shot. Yes, we have a shot. Yes, we have a shot. Michael Gallup. Oh, if he could have broke that tackle, there was a chance. Bro, our man's dropping dimes be smart here ty hilton just don't throw a pick he didn't catch it we have one second left like is a 62 yard field goal possible oh my accuracy was off wasn't it oh my god so that was just a complete waste of freaking time good first half though can't complain about our guy's performance good start to the half good start to the half cd lamb he's gonna hang on into opponent's territory oh i could have made that throw to cd oh, with the dalton instead we get down to the one no we get into the end zone i'll take it but we still have to find a way to score in a qb sneak you'd think i'd be more excited but to be fair though let's talk about Jake. Man's having a crazy game. Keep having to run the same deep plays because I've gotten sacked 8,000 times today. Can we fit that in? 
Yes, we can, bro. Dalton is having a great game. Too bad that's not Dalton. I mean, the super smart thing to do here would be try to get down at the one yard line any way possible. Okay, that definitely looks like a throw of a 45 overall. Kind of like this. Kind of like this. Shouldn't have floated it, but it doesn't matter. CD with the grab. Great timing. Do I try it? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. That should be a catch. Yes, it is. Great hands from CD. Come on, let's just be able to pad the stats in the fourth. Let's go. Although well, Jake Rudolph's turned out to be a pretty solid 45 overall. His fifth touchdown of the day in an incredible performance. The Bucks scored to bring it back within seven. And we did get forced to our first three and out. And of course, Tom Brady was going to make things interesting. Obviously, I want to win this thing. He's kind of open. Don't get picked. He caught the ball. He caught the ball. And just like that, we're in plus territory. We do have all three timeouts. So there's plenty of time. I mean, as much as I just want to get the win and get the field goal. Like, I want to stat pad. Michael Gallup maybe just maybe fit it in there. That was risky, bro. That was so risky. But I'll take the chance. I probably should just be kicking the field goal. T.Y. T.Y. Let's go! I love getting rewarded for being risky. But I honest to God could never have predicted this start from Jacob freaking Rudolph. 45 overall. And yay! Jacob does have one non-artificial upgrade. There's so many different options, man. Let's at least get one of the good ones. There's just no shot. That's the one we begin with. I have to make 46 overall Jake a superstar X Factor. The problem for me is that it's kind of pointless currently because he gets no abilities as of right now. We have to to get him up to at least a 70 overall to unlock an ability, but we do have a Truss X Factor currently at least. Again, another natural upgrade for our boy Jake. But next in week two against the Bengals, we have to score seven total touchdowns. We have to have 50 yards on the ground and throw a touchdown to a long snapper. How is that even possible? Gotta be selective when I run too, because I'll probably fumble if I get hit. <laughs> that's the start you'd expect from a 47 overall quarterback. Be smart here. Now that's a... Good throw, but of all people, C.D. Lamb lets the ball hit him in the back of the helmet. So a rather discombobulated start, but we can make up for it right here. We can pick up this first down. Let's just make sure we don't throw a pick. Oh my god, that's Dalton with the first down. Big grab. I don't know where half my routes are supposed to go, and now we're getting sacked for 37 yards. That is horrible. No shot we get a miracle here, right? I'm just gonna, like, toss this up. Oh, that's a pick. Oh, that really easily could have been that first interception of the year. Oh, bro, things are going bad. Things are going so bad. I have to score seven touchdowns in three quarters, technically. Like, I know it might seem dumb, but I'm at the point where I, like, have to throw the ball deep almost every single play. At least till I get some momentum, and now we have Dalton dropping the football. This might be a game where we really don't complete the challenge. It's always... Oh, no. That was horrible. I was getting ready to say... It's always Dalton Schultz to rescue us. Well, um, our first pick of the year ends up in a pick six, a 47 overall quarterback over through our receiver by about 37 yards. I mean, all I can do is lock him, bro. Like, leave the crying at the door. No ifs, ands, or buts, bro. It's like, we have got to have this. Like, got to. And we do. Oh, thank the Lord. I thought he was going to overthrow us for a second. So not the ideal first quarter, but there's still plenty of time. Like, we just have to throw the ball down the field every single play. Like, it's our only option. And again, Dalton... He's gonna make the catch. Miracles are needed. Oh gosh, just hit the ball. Just okay. That actually can be a positive play. That's actually just like a two-yard inside zone. I'll take it. Shoot. Wide open. Wide open. The catch. Down to the two. While we're at it, should I try to get a touchdown to my long snapper? I mean, why not? We're already behind. Let's at least get one challenge completed. Who are you? So Josh Ball is our long snapper. Can we actually get touchdown number one of seven? The god dang Josh Ball, bro. I need you to run around. Run a better route. That just ended up an absolute failure. Honestly, don't even know what he's running here. Might just have to complete the touchdown. We just need to be smart. CD down, though, to the three. Come on, let's get this to Josh freaking ball. He's wide open, and he makes the grab. Let's go. I was so scared he was going to drop it. I was so scared. Oh, thank God something positive happened. He actually missed the field goal. Actually gives us a super short field to work with. T.Y. Make the grab, brother. T.Y., you legend. Oh, this is going to be perfect gonna be perfect cd lamb with the grab the miracle is gonna be granted what was that what on earth we gotta have this bro we gotta have this oh no dude i can't describe how detrimental that is can they actually like legit without me trying scoring like two plays oh my gosh this is a freaking nightmare in there the grab oh my god he got away oh that would have been big that would have been big but you know what still big it's still big oh bro please 
Oh, please. He makes the grab. There's still a shot, bro. There's still a shot. If we score here, there's at least a little bit of hope. I think CeeDee Lamb's open. CeeDee Lamb's open. CeeDee Lamb with the touchdown. That's huge. I mean, there's still five touchdowns to score in the second half, but I'd much rather go into the second half than I have to score five rather than six. Oh, what a throw from our 47 overall quarterback. When we open with the ball in the second half, I just got to make sure I score quickly. Hide and open again over the middle. He almost caught that, and he almost picked it at the same time. I can't believe if I find a way to score in this drive, is back to a one-possession game. Not talk too soon, though. In his face? In his face? Oh, you gotta hang on to that! Honestly, if we don't pick this up, this could be game. Please fit it in there. Oh my god, what a grab! That's the clutchest grab I've ever seen, Michael! Keep in mind, like, not only do I have to score touchdowns, I gotta get 50 yards on the ground. I don't think he's got one on the ground all year. How am I supposed to get 50 in the last quarter and a half of this game? Let's not talk about why it's a second down and 25. Let's just celebrate the fact that it's no longer a second down and 25. I'm like, I, I run here? Can we run? We're actually gonna get some yards on the ground. We're actually for once gonna get some yards on the ground and I think he might be dead. <laughs> no, bro. I finally run the ball and we get called for holding. That's gotta be some sort of match fixing. What are the odds? We pick up a fourth down and 28. I think the odds are kind of stacked against me here. Although CD got a really good release. The question is, can he hang on? Oh my God. Oh my God. I actually can't freaking believe that. Anything but a turnover. Literally anything. Rub the middle. Rub the middle. That's some yards on the ground. That's our first yards on the ground. Also on top of that, another touchdown on the day. There's hope, fellas. There's hope. How do I score four more touchdowns in one quarter of football? I mean, you're kind of open here, Michael. Somehow the ball got to him. What arm strength from Jacob? CD? CD? CD with the grab? Oh, a broken tackle would have been big, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Perfect. CD again. CD again. With the grab. Let's go! One possession game again. Oh my god, what a clutch three and out from our defense. And now we have to go 99 yards? CD, I'm actually begging you. I'm actually begging you. Oh, that would have been so clutch. Same exact play again because I'm an absolute demon. CD. He's going to make the grab. Ooh! Oh, can we outrun him? No, we can't. Well, the answer is definitely no. Let's either pick this up or it's a GG. Wow. Somebody's getting fired. Pick up the first. Thank you. Oh, please. He's open. He's open. Make the grab. Oh, one more broken tackle. That's Jalen Tolbert, USA alumni. Up the middle. Oh, yay. Another two yards on the ground. Bullet pass. Oh, what a grab. What a legend. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. We got it. Wait, so our defense actually forced a three and out. So that's pretty freaking huge. So that means there's still hope, boys. We can score a touchdown here. Get touchdown number six. Force overtime and still get another touchdown to get our 50 yards on the ground that we need. Oh my gosh. Why does it feel impossible to rush with the QB? He's open. Oh, I should have thrown it to the other guy. And I should have because the other guy probably would have caught it. Please make the throw. Please make the throw an absolute dime from Jake when we need him the most. Get out of bounds, boys. There truly is hope. Just a few more miracles are needed. Like one right here. And he just, of course, doesn't hang on to it. Oh, what do you know? Another fourth down and long upon us. I told you our chances was slim. Although, although, K.Y. Hilton coming up huge. Oh, my gosh. I actually can't believe that. I actually pray, bro. Oh my god, what a play! What a play! Root up! Out of bounds! Out of bounds! Not only do we get the first down, we get 17 yards on top of that! Let's see if we can actually do it again. Like, any yards count right now. Like, literally two yards on the ground counts. Is there actually a chance we can pull this stupid crap off? Oh my god, he's wide open. He's wide open! Bang! There's hope! There's hope! We made it to overtime. Now, boys, the game ended in a tie. We failed two three and outs and then a super long bingles drive they just ran the clock out and just decided to end the game in a tie after everything we don't get a wheel spin at least after all that it got a natural upgrade i wanted to pause the action for a brief moment to tell you guys about the easiest way to get in on the nfl action and that'd be with underdog fantasy in their pick'em game underdog fantasy is literally the best place to play fantasy sports and with their pick'em game you just pick higher or lower on your favorite or least favorite player stats and you could win and 20 extra money in a single night. And Underdog always keeps it super simple with their easy to 
to use website and mobile apps. You can pick between two to five players to fill out your pick'em entry, and if you get every pick right, you'll be taking home some well-deserved cash. For my big game pick'em, I'm expecting a lot of offense. We also have the big game pick'em special going live on Thursday, February 9th. This is available to all new and existing underdog users, a free square for one of your pick'em entries during the big game. And all the states in gold here are where underdog pick'em is available. And you can sign up to underdog by clicking the link in the description box below, and make sure you use code RBT to get your first deposit doubled up to $100. Once again, massive shout out to Underdog for sponsoring today's video. We have to make it up here in week three against the Giants as we have to score four rushing touchdowns. We have to complete a touchdown pass to an offensive lineman and throw zero interceptions. With me holding the controller, that's going to be impossible. I'm going to play offense completely different this game because I'm not throwing a pick. I'm not failing another challenge. I'd rather take a sack than a pick. That's beautiful. Five yard gains. Let's just run with it. Just, just don't fumble, please, dear God. I guess I'd rather I'll fumble than a pick. Oh, gosh. I, I, there's the fumble. There's the freaking fumble. Thank God we recovered. Oh, please. Beautiful decision. Beautiful. Now we need to get this down to, like, the five-yard line so I can try and scramble in. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. What a grab, CD. You know what? Take off. Take off. Go. Go. Just slide. Don't fumble. Don't fumble. I was the scaredest man on this side of the Mississippi that entire run. Jake, I beg, bro. Huge hole. Huge hole, Jake. Can you get in? Let's go! Oh my god, bro. We're scraping and crawling. Gotta make sure we complete all three challenges here in week three. Why is Graham Gano out here wild and gives us great field position? Be smart. Dalton Scholes, what a grab. Number four, Tony Pollard. He's gonna make the grab, but we're gonna be a little short. Big conversion, big conversion, big conversion, big conversion. Oh, the patience, the brilliance. Tony Pollard on the screen. Can we please bounce this bad boy outside? Nice little gain. Please don't screw up. Please. Oh, please. Just fall. No, you screwed up, Dalton. Gosh dang it. <laughs> what's, what's happening here? Can anybody explain? Oh my gosh, we need some massive miracles here. Like, why did I do that? I'm so stupid. I mean, at least we have a good defense. Oh no. Um, it's our running back Tony Pollard again. Okay, creeping in on the red zone. Got to get this, got to, got to. Beautiful connection. Can we please get down to the one. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. I thought he got in on accident again and I was going to be so mad. Let's please get in for rushing touchdown number two. Thank you so much. I have high spirits again. Just take off. Okay, let's go, big boy. Oh, please get out of bounds. Just run. B oh, wow. That's the dumbest thing. The absolute dumbest thing I could have possibly done there. Oh, how am I so dumb? Now our defense is letting them chew all this clock. Gallop wide open with a dart. Oh, my God. Tony P was so much space. Let's just get this down to, like, the five-yard line. Hey, personal foul. Haha, <laughs> there's no excuse for that in our game. We're just going to go for the touchdown to our offensive lineman. We have rookie tackle Tyler Smith in there running around. Can't describe to you how bad we need this. Tyler, Tyler, brick hands. We're resorting back to our old prehistoric methods again. Maybe, just maybe. What a start to the drive. At least our QB's dropping dimes. Absolutely have got to go for this. Please, Dalton. Dalton, go up. Not again. Anthony Brown literally might have just saved us. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just take off. Get the first, please. Get the first. Don't fumble. Don't you dare freaking fumble. Oh, great. Oh, no. Don't catch the ball. Okay. If you would have caught that, that would have actually have screwed us. So, hilarious enough, that was a good outcome. Dalton again. Dalton's been our safety blanket all freaking day. Just don't you dare fumble. Oh, please. 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 Let's go. There's still hope, boys. There's still freaking hope. Oops. I've got to be locked in, boys. Got to be locked the freaking... I mean, to be fair, we're getting a lot of rushing yards this game. Why couldn't we have got this last game? Wide open, wide freaking open. Great grab from the veteran, but we've got, we got to hurry up. Got to hurry up. Can we actually make that throw? Oh, wow. Jalen Tolbert with the grab. Dalton again. Dalton again. Dalton with the grab. Dalton within the 10. We're getting so close, dude. Yo, I did just realize I can't get a first down here. Oh, this is tricky. I'm going QB sneak. Jake gets the touchdown. Let's go. Oh, my. 
my god, not another one that's gonna come down to the wire. And keep in mind, if I throw a pick here to end the game, that just completely negates everything that we've done. Oh no, busted coverage. What's even better is that they went for an onside kick and we get the ball around midfield. All we have to do to get a wheel spin is throw a touchdown pass to an offensive lineman. Like, that sounds so simple, but yet it's so complicated. Another fourth down, bro. I don't know if we have this in us. Absolutely big. Absolutely big. He overthrew him. No shot. We're literally just going to have to let him score again. Oh my gosh. This has turned into an absolute nightmare. They're also going to take the lead. So to even win the game, we're going to have to complete the challenge. How in the world did we get to this point? Come on. Oh, you've got to hang on to that. Dalton, thank you so much. We still have some faith. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What a grab though from Tony. What a freaking grab. So I went and put Tyler Smith in the slot. And if somehow we can come down with this catch, we complete the challenge and win the game. Miracles are needed, boys. Absolute miracles. He's open. He's open. Makes the grab. Smith. Touchdown! Miracles do happen! Oh my god, bro. I was so sad. I was so sad. I really thought we were about to fail our second straight challenge. Oh, that's one of the clutchest finishes I've ever seen. Tyler Smith, what a dub. Oh my gosh, bro. I can't believe we actually just did that. Bro, he might get to a 99 overall without the help of the magical wheel. Come on, bro. We need something so bad. And you know what? I'll take a 99 throw power. How much is this gonna bump up his overall? Oh god, it only brought him up to 61. At least he's jumped 60 spots to 70th ranked quarterback in the league. We've got to finish strong in week number four by converting a fake field goal, throwing for at least 600 passing yards, and throwing for seven touchdowns. We have to upgrade this guy if we want any chance of winning an MVP. I'm just gonna throw basically two touchdowns a quarter, no pressure or anything. And to clarify, the fake field goal doesn't have to be a touchdown. It can just be, you know, a first down conversion. Oh my gosh, let's not start things off with a pick, please. Oh, what a throw, and what a grab, Michael Gallup. Wide open, wide open, and we over-freaking-threw him. Oh, does CD have him beat? Why is it off his back foot? It's a great throw. It's a great catch, but I think it's going to be callback for holding. Oh, my God, bro, please no, please no, please no. Wait, roughing the passer. Roughing the freaking passer. Let's go. Oh, Dalton, please, what a throw. What a perfectly placed ball. Same play against. That's what we do around here. Wide open, wide open. That's exactly why. Finding the space in the seam. Why not run it over and over again when you have to score seven touchdowns in four quarters? He's going to be wide open. He's going to be wide open. No, he's not. Dalton again. Dalton again. Touchdown number two, baby. Let's go. What has happened to our defense? Dalton Scholes is going to hang on to the tough grab. Gosh, they had somebody there to snuff it out. We lose about 75 yards. T.Y. behind the linebackers. A perfectly placed ball again. Tony with a ton of space. You know what? We'll pick up, you know, a nice little eight yards. Just keep the chains moving, Dalton. Maybe CD. Maybe CD. And CD indeed. We gotta punch this in. Got to. Beautiful. T.Y. Hilton. Thank you. Oh, wow. Our defense didn't allow points for once. Dalton. Another perfectly placed ball. Michael Gallup is wide open. Wide open. Please go up. He made the grab. Holy crap. I thought for sure he was going to drop it. Come on. We got to make the most of this. We can. We can right here. We can right here. And Noah Brown, make sure we do. Right back at you, legend. Good thing we get the ball to open the half. I think that's Dalton over the middle. Another laser for a first down. Have almost a quarter and a half to get a fake field goal conversion. Score three touchdowns and throw for 250 more yards. Dalton Schultz might actually end up with 2,000 yards on the year. Another one, another one, an absolute dime to T.Y. Hilton. Rudolph showing off that now 99 throw power. Look at our defense actually doing something positive for once. Why did they keep leaving the middle of the field open? Although that was kind of stressful there at the end. I think Michael Gallup's got it. Gallup's got it. Gallup does. What a perfectly thrown pass by the once worst quarterback in this entire game. Defense balling out. Easily the best game Jake's played of his career to date. Oh, no. I mean, can we make this throw? Can we make this throw? Please, bro. Please. What a throw. Bro, that's a Hall of Fame throw right there from Rudolph. Oh, my God. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Our defense back to allowing points and letting them chew clock. Don't need 100 passing yards and a converted fake field goal. I mean, as great as we played this game, like, we still are coming down to the wire. Get some Mickey Mouse yards right here. I mean, 
Five is really not going to do as much right now. Oh, no. Oh, yes. I guess we're going to go ahead with the fake field goal. That is never going to work. Ever. We have too much to do, man, with only four minutes left. Oh, gosh, dang it. We let them score, and they chewed way too much clock. Can we run backwards? Please? Okay, this is big, actually. This is kind of big, because we need to score a touchdown from further than 50 yards so we can get all the yards we need. Dalton, bang, bang. He ain't been in there, right? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We need four more passing yards and a fake field goal. Okay, so we definitely got that taken care of. Run up the field. He makes the catch. He makes the catch. Let's go. Let's go. We pick up the first. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I thought this was literally impossible. And we got Rudolph another passing touchdown. Let's go. What a freaking performance from the Mad Lads. Ooh, he's got two this time. You don't understand how much I would love to get a plus 15 or plus 20 to his overall. And... I think that might actually could be better. So we get to upgrade his short throw accuracy, his medium throw accuracy, and his deep throw accuracy. And holy crap, dude, that actually brought him up to an 85 overall. We leave him off with 2,400 yards, 20 touchdowns, to only one interception. He also has six rushing touchdowns, which is solid. I can't believe everything I've gone through the last four hours seriously comes down to the click of a freaking button. So the once worst quarterback in the NFL led us to an 11 and five season, and it looks like crazy enough, 11 wins did get us a first round bye. We did finish with the best offense in the entire league. That's a great sign. <laughs> oh my god, what in the world got into this even? Jake Rudolph with an NFL record 6,700 yards passing, 53 touchdowns to only 8 interceptions. I mean, not to mention his 6 touchdowns on the ground as well. He led the NFL in passing by 1,100 yards. It looks like he also threw almost 10 more touchdowns than anybody else. There's absolutely zero Zero shot that we didn't successfully win the MVP with Jacob freaking Rudolph. Let's freaking go! You should have never doubted us. Jake Rudolph is him. Thank God, after all that, I get to save my money. Now, if you enjoyed that one, click right here to watch another video on the channel that I know you enjoy. Do it. It'll make you happy. We literally did all of that just to be one and done.